Hey guys, I just wanted to have a look at the new data sheet for the Termagant for 10th edition Warhammer 40,000 and have a little prediction of what I think the data sheet will look like for a couple of other units. So to walk through the new Termagant data sheet, we start with the stats at the top. They've changed the layout and it's a lot easier to read now. So you've got movement 6 inches, toughness 3, save 5 up, Runes 1, Leadership 8+, plus, and then OC, which is a completely new stat, which means Objective Control. So there's two things that this could mean. It could mean that the unit as a whole has a value of 2, which means that uh, until the unit's killed, it has 2. So if you had 2 squads of Termagants, it would count as 4. But that's probably not the way it works. It probably works like... Um, each model is worth two. So if you had 10, you would have 20 value. So some units like Space Marines might have uh, three or specific units who are really good at holding objectives. So they'll be better until you kill enough of them. Then you can overwhelm the enemy. So then you've got ranged weapons. You notice that there was no ballistic or weapon skill. They've moved that to the weapon section. So You've got Flesh Borer, Assault, Range 18, Attacks 1, Ballistic Skill 1, Strength 5, AP 0, 1, Damage. So that's standard, Ballistic Skill 4 up there. Then the Termagant Spine Fist is interesting because it has the Pistol and Twin Linked rule uh, next to the name, not as like a separate ability, it's just in the name, weapon type sort of thing. So that has 12 inches, blah, blah, blah. So Twin Lint is back. They said that in 10th edition, they're going to be removing uh, hyper-specific special rules in return for generic keywords, which is a really good choice. So instead of having teleport homers or webway strike, you're going to have just deep strike. And it's much more understandable looking at the data sheet, what it all means. So after that, you know, move on to melee weapons. Uh, see nose claws and teeth. I think that's a terrible name, and they should rename it to just claws and teeth. Um, range melee, uh, one attack weapon skill strength. Blah blah blah. It's all all regular after the weapon skill being there. Um, then there's abilities. Abilities do obviously exist in the data sheets how they are right now in ninth, but this is a lot clearer. So abilities faction synapse. So I think this means. Um, what kind of sub-faction they are. I'm not actually sure entirely what this means, and this could just be me not having enough knowledge about the game. Um, skulking Horrors. So, once per turn, when an enemy unit ends any kind of move within 9 inches of this unit, this unit gets to move a normal move of up to D6. So, you put in your Assault Intercessors within a normal movement, uh, within nine of the termagants and then the termagants get to react by running away which might put them out of charging range which is really cool or they could intercept and block uh, a more important unit it's got lots of uses it's reactive and that's really cool then we've got keywords inventory great devourer endless multitude termagants i think that's all pretty standard stuff faction keywords see this is different to the ability faction thing uh, faction keywords tyranid so that's what the data sheet looks like so i wanted to then have a look at data sheet for um aldar guardians which would be a unit i'll probably use a lot in this edition right to start this off then we've got uh my custom made version of the data sheet i've tried to recreate it pretty accurately um so all the stats and abilities and everything is there so to begin with we have the main core stats Movement 7, Toughness 3, Save 4 up, Runes 1, Leadership, um, it's going to probably be the same as last edition, but Objective Control, now I've put it as a 2 because they are just a tr like a regular troop. They could have 3 because it could be that uh, Synapse creatures like um, Termagants have a lower score than smart, intelligent creatures like humans and Aldar. So it could be three, but I've put it as two because I think that might be the baseline for most things in the game. Then you've got 
ranged weapon, shuriken. Now they're getting rid of specific special rules, so they're not going to have a rule for shuriken. It's more likely they'll have a rule called something like rending two, which means that if you roll a six, that counts as a rend, and the two is the additional AP you put onto the weapon standard profile. So if you roll a six with a shuriken catapult instead of AP one, instead of saying minus, it now just says one, it would become AP3, and that makes perfect sense. After that, I've put Aldari Fists. Um, and then Abilities. The first one is called Defenders, um, because they're Guardian Defenders, and they already have a rule like this in Ninth Edition, where they get an extra... Um, it's a bit different in Ninth. In my version, in Tenth, it's just plus one to hit when you're on a de- within three inches of an objective, or if you've owned the objective. I'm not sure how the phrasing will be. It could be it has to be an objective you own. But I've written within three inches an objective. And now I think about it, it, sh- it should maybe be objective you own because they're defenders, not attackers. I've put the um, faction as craft world in, you know, uh, greater than, lesser than, which basically just means whatever craft world you select because I think different abilities will come up depending on what you select, maybe. After that, there's crude platform, which basically means that if... The weapons, if every other Eldar that's living is dead, that doesn't make much sense. If every single Eldar in this unit is dead and the weapon platform remains, it's now slain. And it also doesn't count towards uh, your starting strength because it would be 11, but it actually counts as 10 uh, with the platform. And also it doesn't count towards morale loss. So you could kill the weapon platform and not worry about the morale loss from it because it's not a living thing. You don't really care. Then keywords are infantry, battle focus, um, strand of fate, guardian defender. They might rename these to be more generic. I'm not sure. Uh, I think they'll keep these because they give a lot of personality to Eldar in ninth edition. Battle focus, you know, obviously after a um, attack, they get to move D6 in any direction. Strand for Fate, that might be gone in 10th. They might think it's way more simple to just get rid of it and have abilities be the main way you achieve stuff in the game. And faction keywords, Aldari, Asurani. Aldari, you know, being their species, Asurani, basically meaning Craft World Eldar. So here's just an example data sheet that I made. Um, let me know what you think if I've got anything wrong, if these are going to look different, or if you think they have different abilities or stats than this. So I might make some more of these, I'm not sure. I might do some, you know, Space Marine Blade Guard might be quite interesting because it's a little bit more special. Or I might have a hand at doing a a walker because they gave away some rules for how uh, vehicles deteriorate. Um, But, you know, this is just my wild guess out there and I thought I'd share it.